Writer and humorist Mark Twain once stated that to get the full value of joy you must have someone to divide it with. A statement that I feel is more valuable now than when it was first conceived. Now arguably, most people tend to find joy through a specific passion or interest, and if we're going off of what Twain said, then having someone to share that passion with uncovers the full value and potential of the joy you can get from something. And nowhere is this more prevalent than in Cognada's 2017 masterpiece, Columbus. The film follows Casey, played by Hayley Lou Richardson, a young woman who decides to stay in Columbus to help her mother, a recovering addict, instead of pursuing her dream and passion of becoming an architect. The movie follows her day-to-day -day life as she wrestles with this decision and forms a friendship with Jin, a Korean-born man who is essentially stuck in Columbus after his architect father goes into a coma. Though Jin does not share the same interest as Casey, it's the drive of hearing what Casey is passionate about that piques his interest and sparks such an unlikely friendship. What are you doing? What? Who are you? <laughs> God, shut up, I'm just trying to tell you about this building. Okay, stop with the tour guide mode for a second. I'm not in a mode. You said this is one of your favorite buildings. It is. Why? It's one of the first modernist banks in the United States. No, no, that can't be it. Do you like this building intellectually because of all the facts? No. I'm also moved by it. Yes. Yes, tell me about that. What moves you? I thought you hated architecture. Yeah, I do. But I'm interested in what moves you, particularly about a building. It is this connection between Casey and Jin that motivates her to eventually pursue her dreams. However, this connection is also what keeps the movie going. There isn't exactly a plot to Columbus. It's a movie that spends more time focusing on the characters and appreciating the finer details of the world we live in, rather than worrying about what choices will affect the structure of the story. Columbus draws you in with straightforward yet immaculate cinematography and a calming soundtrack that together create a relaxing feel which lets the city's environment and architecture speak for itself. All while the characters gradually peel open the themes and ideas of the film through the mundane everyday conversations that take up the vast majority of the movie. No, no, he's not saying it's an actual myth. He's just questioning this common usage of attention span or really this idea of a shortening attention span. What he's offering is a critique of a critique, but in its place he identifies a different kind of crisis. Not the crisis of attention, but the crisis of interest. See, to talk about attention is its own kind of distraction. Okay. <laughs> Kids pay attention to things that interest them. The real question is what interests them, or us. Columbus feels both effortless yet precise at the same time, and the meticulous nature of the film is all thanks to Cognada's history with creating extensive video essays for the Criterion Collection. Funnily enough, I feel as if this movie would fit perfectly into the Criterion Collection as well, and I genuinely don't know why it isn't already in there. Also, one small thing that I really love about this movie is the fact that every song on the film's soundtrack is named after a famous architect. Now, if that isn't attention to detail, then I don't know what is. About 95% of the shots in this movie are so arresting that you'd expect to see them hung up on a wall in an exhibition. Yet, the general presentation of the movie isn't something that screams, look how amazing this shot is, or doesn't this movie look so sophisticated. Every shot is presented in its most natural, uninterrupted form. There's no effects, no oversaturated colours or camera trickery, it just simply shows you something and gives it time to breathe, letting you, the viewer, appreciate it in your own way. It almost harkens back to the work of Yasira Ozu or Edward Yang, directors who frequently used this simple but effective technique to masterful results. It's also something I feel a lot of movies forget to do nowadays. Instead of sitting on a shot for the sake of the importance of the story, I think more films should just hold on a shot purely because it works and adds another layer to the film's atmosphere that goes way beneath the surface level. 
It's almost as if the setting of Columbus is actually the main focus of the movie, and the characters are simply there to occupy the space and add a sense of relatability and personality to those surroundings. I heard about this uh, town, uh, Columbus. I mm -hmm. uh, read it in the newspaper and it was so fascinating to me. So I visited the town, not for the film, but just out of my own curiosity. I love architecture. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I saw this town, all of a sudden, I, the story that I had been working on in my head, immediately I thought, I have to make a film in this mm -hmm. town. And once I knew the town, the story mm -hmm. became much more clear. I had mm -hmm. a, I knew I wanted to make a feature, and I think I always knew that I wanted it to be about the bond between children and parents and mm -hmm. uh, the burden of that for mm -hmm. children. I love this movie purely for the fact that it doesn't shove its style or agenda in the viewer's face. It just happens to be really nicely presented, and have its themes gently evolve over time, leading to an emotional ending that comes out of nowhere, but at the same time feels very earned, especially considering all the in-depth conversations you've experienced with Jin and Casey along the way. For those of you that have seen Columbus, then you know just how meticulous and calming this movie can be. For those of you that haven't seen it, which I presume is the vast majority of you, then you are in for an absolute treat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you appreciated this little love letter to one of the most overlooked movies of the last decade. If you've seen Columbus, then please let me know your thoughts about it in the comments. I'd love to read them. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye.